Okay, the next step is the uh, installing the registration bearing assembly, which is this piece right here. You're going to get a, a bearing assembly that has two slots in it. These holes in the arm, in the pallet arm, you want them kind of centered in these slots. And you want this to be positioned on every arm. Every arm, they should be positioned exactly in the same location. Um, and they're going to be tied down with uh, two inch bolts, washers, and uh, locking uh, nuts or lock nuts. So let's hand tighten this down uh, until it doesn't move. And we're going to show you a top view of this when we're done. All right, so we're going to have our two inch bolt with a washer going through the top. And we'll do that for both of them. And then we have a, they gave us enough washers, uh, double the amount. So we're going to put a washer on the bottom. Okay. With the lock nut. <clears throat> and we'll do a second one for the other bolt. All right, so before I tighten it down, I'm going to line these up center. Okay, I'm going to hold this down and hand tighten it a little bit and hold the other one down and hand tighten it down. <clears throat> so now we're going to put the print head uh, down and we're going to make sure that the key, I'm not sure if you can see the key right here. <clears throat> Um, the key goes right in between the roller bearings okay so you want to make sure that the key freely freely slides through the roller bearings uh, if you tighten this down too tight it can uh, bend the uh, the arm and these bearings will get a little bit too close and then they'll wear out over time and then it'll mess up your registration because the key will wiggle inside the registration bearings so that is a very important do not over tighten these uh, just tighten it to where it stops and then just do a slight little, little bit more uh, tightening and that's it um, and then we're going to uh, make sure every head we're going to circle the whole uh, carousel around and make sure every key slides in there and it's in the same it slides down in the same position every time we're going to try and get a shot with that and uh, hopefully we're able to get it for you well, we're going to put it down we're going to put the uh, head down first and then we'll give you a, a little shot all right so the key slid right in there freely. As you can see, the key is in there. There is no real good shot to give you because uh, it's just everything is in the way. <clears throat> but uh, it will kind of look like that. And um, that's pretty much it. The It'll slide in and out of the roller bearings. Just like that. That's, that's perfect. If you can see the side movement in and out. There is no movement. I'm shaking it. There is no left to right movement. That means they slide freely between the two bearings and it's perfect. So I'm just going to tighten them down because they're only hand tightened right now. <clears throat> and then we're going to go through the rest of them. We're just going to tighten it down.
And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> we want to take a look at the bottom and make sure the uh, the bottom of the arm is not bending in any way. Um, it stayed pretty flat. So we're going to double check our tension. And that's good. And now we're going to test the pallet arm again. I mean the uh, we're going to test the screw the <laughs> the registration key and we're going to try and fit it into the slot here. And perfect. It's a perfect uh, there is no movement. <clears throat> and that's what we want. So we're going to do that for the rest of the arms. The same process. Uh, we're going to give you a top shot right here. And give you an idea of where ours is located or where it is. We put the bolt in the center of these slots here. Or as much center as we could. I think it's pretty center. <clears throat> Alright, so that is... That is it on the registration uh, bracket assembly. Now do remember, do not over tighten these bolts uh, because you can bend the other side of the arm and this could potentially um, bring the bearings closer together and the key will not either not fit in there or it will it will damage it over time <clears throat> make sure your key freely moves between both bearings and it engages both bearings so in, and what that means is that it will move okay so I looked under each one and I was making sure I saw the bearings moving as the key went in in between them that means both of them are engaging if it's not engaging you can loosen loosen these bolts here to adjust that tension on these bearings uh, but you should only adjust them very slightly in the case that you're having trouble with the key fitting uh, in between these bearings and, and they should just slide in those bearings they shouldn't uh, you shouldn't have to force them in there and if one bearing is moving and the other one is not uh, you'll need to loosen the one that is not a little bit so that it can freely move um, the key into registration so that's very important there so make sure do not over tighten these and if needed you can loosen these two bolts here um, with the nuts on the other side uh, tighten them or loosen them however you need but make sure you use every print head make sure every print head comes down okay and uh, make sure every key is engaging both bearings okay so that is that is pretty much it on that step installing the registration uh, bearing uh, bracket and we're going to cut out and go to the next step